paths have crossed again. Yes, our paths have crossed again. Hello, everybody. This is That Brown Bat, and we are here for our 10th, not our, but Disney Infinity's 10th anniversary. Has it been that long? Yes, it has been that long. 10 years of Disney Infinity, going from 1.0 all the way through 3.0, the whole package deal. And the only thing I can offer you is a look at some of my recent toy boxes. And as many of you know, some of you don't know, the old toy boxes that I had in the PS4 days no longer exist. I no longer have them. But anyway, this is a city based on a JRPG called... Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> I stand corrected. This is a city based on something. It's just very, very cool. The next city I will show you is based on a JRPG. But anyway, when we get to that, we'll get to that. But this is an... I don't know what the name of it is. Uh, big City. Giant City. It seems like every year... Uh, I had always tried to do, well, maybe two times a year, I'd try to do a castle city. And this is the biggest one I've ever done. So much so if I go into spark mode and try to put something else in it, I will actually crash the game. So there's no, really no putting enemies in here, no townspeople. I do have a racetrack set up and we'll get to that right here. But this is not the only toy box I'm going to show off. So I'm just going to go through this. There's a Let's Build currently going on as, as, as you're seeing this right now. But without further ado, let's rev up this engine and let's see if I can win. I, I probably won't, but <laughs> it's just fun to race. Uh, I'm trying to rev it. Here we go! Oh! <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, I'm going to play it safe. Uh, no, I'm going to play it by the rules the first lap, and then I'm going to cheat. <laughs> I don't know why. And no, they are not on a spline. They are, that's the actual AI racing the uh, cars. All right, which way? Um, this way. I, I don't know why the controls. Yeah, so now I have to do that again. But for some reason, the controls are really bad and the toy box racing. Uh, if you play it in Speedway, the controls are a lot easier, more tighter. It's the it's the brakes. They uh, they're very. Uh, I don't know. It's like bumper cars. Yeah, the control is really bad. Anyway, this hey hey. Hey, no! I don't have loadouts. Hey, Francesco. <laughs> All right, I, this is where I cheat. I can just sidestep that lap or that direction and just head right to the finish line. Oh, it looks like I'm still probably the only way I'm going to win is because France, or not win, but not get last place is because Francesco is stuck. Whoa, I have no control over it. No, I don't want to go here. <laughs> I'm in third place still because 
I guess he's still stuck. I didn't see him. Yeah. Maybe try a different car next time. I'm not gonna try it next time. Francesco. Sorry, man. I want autographs. Hey, Francesco. Yeah. Well, I'm going to. I'm lost. All right. Don't don't go that way. Yeah. So, needless to say, there's two laps left. I'm gonna cut ahead to the end. Francesco's stuck. This is eating up precious time. <laughs> I'm just having a grand old time here. But yes, I do have a let's build on this. It's it's currently in progress as we speak. The playlist uh, is up to probably 15 episodes maybe right now. Oh, hey! Nobody said AI was smart. Or wait, did, they did say AI was smart. <laughs> oh, those steam tunnels. So, as you can see, racetrack through the city is not the best racetrack. <laughs> Whoa! -ho -ho. But, anyway, this is the first city I wanted to show you. I know, it's not it's not that uh, epic when you're jumping through it. Or racing right fast through it. But any of you that are following along on the Let's Build and haven't seen the first episode, because I actually did the uh, preview first, I think. This is what it looks like. And yes, it is awesome. All right. We have a lot more to show off in this uh, special, so uh, hold on. All right, this next toy box that I'm gonna showcase is based on a city in the, RPG, the JRPG called Lost Sphere. And it is a... Uh, the capital city and of course it's bigger than that game is but hey that's all good lots of I would say steam but actually all the smoke is coming from the chimneys so the deal with this game is to defeat the enemies as they come out and then when you're done the townspeople will come out So let's make short work of all these. I think there's six or seven waves. No, I don't have health or gen on it. Yes, he does. He does have health or gen. Can I block him? Not like that. All right, that's it. That's it. All right. Now let's get the teddy bears. We just want to eat tasty teddy bears. About time. <laughs> the other one fall down. Yay! No! I don't want to fall down. See? It goes all the way down. Oh! And let's dispose of him. Oh, throw him too far. Oh, ho, ho. No. all right. Oh, 
Well, I know that's the beginning because Cruella, Cruella's car came over here. So let's uh, let's take advantage of it and drive it. Um, I think we're going over this way. <laughs> All right. And then get the rest of that group. Yeah. So, oh, didn't <laughs> didn't want that to happen. So, if this is your first time, I I'm not a uh, I I am I'm not a story builder. I have, that's not to say I have never built a game with stories. I have in the past. I think two of them. But nothing recently. Everything is just stick enemies in the toy box. This is your end. If I even get that far. Most of it's building something epic. Showing you how to build it. And then if I have time, I'll put enemies in it and fight them. These things uh, actually take a lot of TLC. I can't pick these guys up. If I give myself a sword, oh, that is the uh, Three Musketeers rapier or fencing sword foil. I don't know if it's a rapier or a foil. I'm not sure, but yeah, somewhere in the files I found that. So that's pretty neat. Um, something that never made it. I don't know if it was in 1.0, but it definitely was not in. Definitely was not in 2.0 or 3.0. I just replaced the shovel. That's all I did. Hey. He's not easy to pick up either. I think that's the first time I was ever able to pick him up. I think most of the time it's because they're in their supercharge mode, trying to rush you, and you can't do anything when they're uh, in their charge up mode. Alright, so now I have to go down here. Let's get a different weapon. Let's get the not frying pan. This will give us the... Uh, Brave Sword, or you could also say the uh, Sword in the Stone. It's the same model. I haven't modded the sound effects into it. It's one of those things where I thought I did, but it didn't work. So, it can be done. It's just I haven't taken the time to Oh, oh no, that's not fair. Hey. So apparently it hurts him too. I don't know. Anyway, on to the next wave of enemies. You know, since I'm in the city, probably should use Darkwing Duck, shouldn't I? Let's get dangerous a little bit here. So it's not really Darkwing, it's Donald Duck cosplaying as Darkwing.
Oh, Darkwing doesn't have any weapons other than the gun. It is doing damage. Okay. Gonna run into him. <laughs> All right, I gotta ditch the cape here. All right, Donald, I mean, Darkwing, save the day. The night has lifted and it's daytime and the townsfolk are out. Yeah, can't rightly get that doing what I want it to do but that's okay I got a smarter cycle and there's more townspeople out here and and this next showcase is the Forbidden Fortress or the Forbidden Mountain they're both there, the Forbidden Fortress is on Forbidden Mountain, and this is from Sleeping Beauty. And, shall we proceed, Thor? Alright, we have Felipe, which is supposed to be the horse that Philip rode. No, I, I know it's not the same horse, but we don't have Prince Philip. But we have a horse named Felipe, so it's good enough. So I'm gonna just get the sword and the stone and a grappling or climbing hook. Mount me horse and proceed. All right. And as we come up here, we have some bears. But I don't want to fight the bears. I can fight the bears. You do not stand a chance against the mighty Thor. Anyone else would have so much trouble. I have no patience for you, teddy bear. I wish that pulled you closer. Oh, I can't block that. Whoa, hey. There. Alright, let's vamanos, muchacho. Slow down, we don't want to fly off the the ramp the hill. This is the tenth anniversary. We don't want to make any mistakes, do we? No. Alright. 
Yes, that is something I did not have in the Let's Build. My apologies. It was an afterthought. <laughs> but we did get this done. Finally, after many, many months, I remembered. All right. We got the guards. Let's dispatch of them. Sorry, horsey. All right. Let it be all the guards. Now let's defeat Medusa. I mean, let's defeat <laughs> Medusa. Greetings, Midgardian. We'll make short work of her because I'm Thor! And that's it. <laughs> yes, Thor. And let's go home. <laughs> And if you want to see what this looks like as all ice and having Elsa fight Maleficent, then watch this. And our next toy box is based almost exclusively, yes, it is exclusive, not almost, exclusively on the JRPG Octopath Traveler 2, the city called New Delta City. And I tried, I wanted to get this actually uh, 2D, and because of the height of the buildings and the height of the stairs, you know, not allowing that, I went with 3D. And because of that, uh, it's, I maxed out another toy box. So, maxing out toy boxes is fun, but I'm no longer going to max out toy boxes. All right, that's my plan. I'm saying that. But I'm going to show you some toy boxes later on that are smaller in scale. All right, so there's no bad guys to fight in here. It's just having townspeople walk around. Because most of the towns and cities and JRPGs are hubs for missions. And I'm not programming any missions. Here's the cemetery, and there's the old man in the cemetery. Weird thing is, he doesn't, I don't think he always loads there. He should, but anyway, this is the uh, back streets. If you've played Octopath Path Traveler 2, you, you're familiar with all this. And the bar, I'm trying to think of the uh, tavern uh, proprietor's name. Is it Gil? Or is Gil the one from the other town? I, I'm, I can't remember, but anyway. I think, you know, as far as cities go, to me, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. It has back streets. It has front streets. <laughs> front streets. All right, so going this alley, this is uh, where Throne A, her, uh, oh, pay no attention to the Z fighting. <laughs> this is where Throny lives if you climb the ladder and go up to the top 
and there's a couple of times when you go in there in the game, so I had to put it in there. All right, I also have day and night cycle. Uh, I think it's on a two minute timer, something like that. And here's the uh, Market Street. And, uh, or, you know, the outside shops. There's a couple more, but this is the, uh, I would say the main one when you go down here. And this is the parlor slash thieves, the thieves hideout. And no, I didn't make interiors for any of these. Splash! Yeah, that's water, but it's not water. Yeah, we don't have water physics, so it is what it is. All right, so let me turn around here. I did not connect those to a repeater. Why did I mention that? Because... <laughs> I couldn't remember if I did, and that was the only way I could test it. <laughs> Some of these places uh, are, are uh, aren't. I mean, they're in the game, but you can't go there. It's, but since I couldn't get this to be properly 2D, the only thing I could do, uh, I had no choice but to make everything that was implied, otherwise it'd just be like a hole, you know? And it's, I'm, I'm glad I, I got what I got. And, uh, well, here's uh, that one place that is in there. I'm not gonna say what it is. Figure it out, there's Red Harrington. Anyway, um, yeah, um, Octopath Traveler 2 is not a game for children. Um, it's, it's not a filthy game, but there are things that are implied. Anyway, uh, here is the, uh, the theater. And I didn't put any keys in here. I guess I could, and, but the keys would actually unlock these. But, and I don't have Mickey's Super Jump unlocked because I didn't want it. But anyway, you can just double jump over there. And, again, I didn't make interiors. If I had time in the world, you know, if I had all the time in the world, I would. But there's no way you can, <laughs> I would be able to make Octopath Traveler in Disney Infinity all the way through probably half the game. <laughs> maybe not even, maybe a quarter of the game. And uh, this is Diamante's estate. So there's three mansions in uh, New Delta City. And then uh, yeah, there's one thing that I would do different if I were to redo this, and that would be to put signs in the establishment and. Um, I fixed the neon signs for uh, Star Lord, uh, his decorations in the uh, interior. So I would uh, just, you know, shove them in there, and uh, we would have signs. I just don't know if I want to do that now, but I can, I could. If I ever come back to this. But anyway, there will be a let's build on this. It's probably going to be within the next month or two. It's done. I just have to edit all of it and do all that. So here's some of the uh, row houses with stairs. And here is one of the worlds that, I guess it was a test hub, missions hub. As far as I know, none of these work. 
I mean, they work, but they don't go anywhere. They just take you to the same place. However, that doesn't mean there's nothing here. Oh, look at that. Alright, so... It's something that was incompleted. Uh, I, it's, that the developers were apparently look at working on. But here is what I want to show you. This looks like it could have been one of the... Uh, this, this seems to be one of the, uh... What would you call it? Uh, prototypes? For either the Avengers game from 2.0 or Spider-Man. That is my guess. So it's fun to just drive around a city that isn't based on 90 degree angles. More like based on 45s. This is uh, one of the levels for uh, um, Force Awakens playset, and specifically when you're uh, dodging the obstacles going through the wrecked uh, Star Destroyers. Again, this is one of the uh, levels you can load up in the files. Not all of it has collision. Well. None of it has uh, collision as far as putting objects in, but not all of it has collision where you can walk through. So you just fall through half the stuff. But you can, uh, once you find a place to stand on after loading it, you can put some things in there. You can put the falcon in there. And as long as you don't go out of bounds, you can check stuff out. Some of it does have collision. Oh, went back out the way I came in. Too close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and the next few uh, toy boxes I'm gonna show off are side scroller esque, side scroller esque. But there's small towns, and uh, this is easier for me to do. and it's more fun and it's more relaxing and when you're walking through things like this the camera has to show you the elegance of 
of your creativity. So I really, really like making things like this. And this, I mean, this is just, you know, testing things out, you know, what to do and what not to do. <laughs> You definitely, when you have when you have the camera angle like this, you don't want to drop down unless you're gonna teleport the character somewhere else. You know, just learning what to do and what not to do. But there's more. You know, once you, you get something like this down, you can. There's there's a lot more you can build. And to me, this is what I've been trying to go for. And then when I when I you know, figured out how to get rid of the uh, the, the uh, memory cap when I removed that. I thought, well, I can just build things as big as I want, and that's still not true. Um, even when you do build huge uh, toy boxes, you still have to wait for it to load, which is not always fun. But yeah, there's a lot you can do with just the with the 2D. And of course, you can break the game and whatnot. But I'm not trying to break the game. You know, you change your, you know, you're walking through. You know, you go from I went from a small town to a city to a forest to winter or snowy winter land but yeah so let's look at the next small toy box all right and here's one based on fall which is coming up in a couple months actually next month i got a couple based on fall a couple based on winter but here i was experimenting with going into a building and this, you know, specifically a church. And lo and behold, I can do Castlevania <laughs> side scroller style. And I think that's what I'm going to do uh, for the Castlevania stuff. I, you know, I, I started doing that a couple a year or two ago, and I couldn't figure out how to do it properly. And I think this is going to be it. It does work this way, where you can get the arches to look how you want it to look. Yeah, and then just, oh, look at that. What does that mean? A door. All right. So that's the concept I'm, I'm working on. So let's look at the next toy box. And some of you all have seen this. And this is uh, the other small uh, forest town, or uh, autumn forest city oh it's not a city but this is really small uh, this is uh I'm trying to think what size this is based on a six by six <laughs> one six by six block with cliffs going around it and it goes up so it's really small so you don't have to make your town super huge. And yeah, so, and these buildings, and of course I changed the texture for the, the stone cottage. I did not like it. So I just, I swapped it out with the, uh, the brick texture for uh, Arendelle and those buildings, well, cottage buildings too, any of it, if you do it, if you play your cards right, you can have autumn, you can have uh, winter, you can have uh, grass, forest. The, the, I mean, these buildings work in any situation if you put them down just right. And of course, here again, you have the uh, Gravity Falls Chapel. Yeah. 
in the, yeah, this is, uh, honestly, I like this better than some of the giant ones that I've made. All right, let's look at the next one. Oh, before I look at the next one, let's just uh, zoom out a bit. Oops, I'm trying to get up the stairs. So that might help anybody that's trying to make screenshots for thumbnails. Use the sidestep camera. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's just gold right there. <laughs> To me anyway I love it that's a better screenshot right there than the one I posted earlier all right on to the next one all right here's one of my winter villages again it's a small one based on a six by six block with the cliffs going around it and you go up and yes I will do a tutorial on this I think that you know I don't know, I just I just really like these small ones. There's so much you can do with simplistic. And you don't have to worry about breaking the bank as far as memory goes. And you don't have to have all the different textures. Even though even though the modded ones are better, you don't have to have them. You don't have to have them. Any of any of the cottage buildings would work. And of course day and night cycle. And if you didn't know, Cinder and Sinister take Take home, take out, <laughs> take that. You know, his the the dark sky, right? It it really does something to. Well, look how it pops on the uh, the frozen terrain. It it's just ma. <laughs> it's many feet. I, I really don't have words to describe how awesome it looks. And uh, I wish I could play this music for the Sky Dome, but you know, the, the tune that I'm playing here is, is just as good. Anyway, uh, on to the next one. All right, this one is based on a uh, 12 by 12, so it's double the size of the other ones, but still, is it breaking the bank? Uh uh. No, it is not. Not in the least. And does it look awesome? Uh, absolutely. I mean, you're, you're, look, you're looking at it. So I have more of a mixture of the medieval bid buildings, not necessarily brick, but uh, the mud and stick or whatever you call it. And I think it turned out really great. And of course, it's winter time. You could change the uh, terrain and and something like this, the uh, the fauna, and have you know the evergreen forest. Uh, you could have Endor. I mean, I'm not gonna say the possibilities are endless, but there's a lot of things that you can do. And here, my plan was is to. Uh, you know, reach something like this and then go to the next level. Either connect these with a bridge, small, different small ones uh, with a bridge or connect different toy boxes and, and whatnot. And of course, now here's the uh, frozen chapel. Put it to good use. And I just think this is so majestic. I have to worry about the camera messing you up. All right, but last but not least, we're going to go to a desert town. But before we do that, let's uh, let's zoom further out with this one. Yeah, give you a better view. Huh?
Yeah, all I uh, need to do is get an Instagram account and boom. Have a picture every week. All right, and here's one based on, you can say Agrabah because I use the Agrabah pieces. Change the texture a little bit. I think this one is a little bit more realistic, less cartoony. Um, you do have to deal with the giant um, tables and merchandise being sold, but nevertheless, it, it fits the aesthetic and uh, yeah, it's, it's sort of like the uh, the Sega Genesis side scroller, right? Platformer. And it doesn't have to be super huge to look cool. Oh, thought he grab a hold of that. There we go. Whoa. And of course, you can put enemies in here. Whoa. Guess I don't know my own strength. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> All right. And I said this was last but not least, but I do have another one that I was uh, playing around with, and uh, let's check that one out. Oh, before we do that, let's uh, zoom out on this one. Why didn't you use the sands of Agrabah? Because Colby sand looks more realistic to me. And it's... I tried to do steampunk. I, I didn't get to the chimneys. Um, but you can see where I have the uh, some of the canisters from the interior. And you can see the Star-Lord signs actually have the uh, texture. And I think I mentioned this earlier, but maybe I didn't. But... I had to go and find the the uh, texture files from 2.0 because they they were broken. Um, I don't know what was wrong with them, but they they were nothing uh, in uh, 3.0, and I just had to figure out which one was which because the numbering system, the naming convention, is different. You know how, how the shops, you know, have the uh, the signs uh, playing tonight. Well, the only one I could find that that fit something like that was the bongo thing <laughs> from the interior. I'm like that. Just, it's perfect. It is so perfect. You know. Um, yeah, no, it doesn't have to be super elaborate, huge, whatnot. And I found, you know, that actually, uh, that fits the, uh, the, uh, Main Street building fits. I mean, you can't see the top of it, but, I mean, I could jump up here and see. Because when you're doing steampunk, I mean, I'm trying to do the best, but you have to have clocks everywhere. And so I just stuck, you know, different things in there. And as I perfect this, I'll figure out how to not do this. And, and you know, mess the game up. <laughs> but, yeah, a mansion back here. That, that's it. You know, it's something small, something really, really cool. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, again, happy 10th anniversary. Here's the 10 more. And let's see, uh, let's, what, what year are we? What year is this? This is 2023. So in two years, it'll be the 10th anniversary of Disney Infinity 3.0. 
Um, yeah, I don't know when the 10th anniversary of 2.0. I don't know if we're going to do something for that. I don't know. Somebody will tell me, of course. But anyway, until we meet again on another anniversary special, you can check out the rest of my stuff if you haven't already. And uh, I do uh, Let's Builds. And uh, again, right now I'm working on small things, but the current Let's Builds out there are the uh, the big castle city. And uh, I probably have seven more of those to go. And then I'm going to do the Octopath Traveler one. And then it's all small stuff. All right. So until next time, remember to keep on building. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to give me a like before you click out. And also, if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do it, do it now! And click the bell icon if you wanna know what I'm up to before I even know what I'm up to because it helps you see into the future. And I just made that up. Until next time, this is That Brown Bat reminding you to keep on building.